Greetings and welcome to this video on how to start building with AWS Solutions Constructs. My name is Ryan Hayes. I'm a solutions developer here at AWS. And today I'm gonna to walk you through adding a solutions construct to your CDK project. If you already have your development environment all set up and you're ready to start building, then you've come to the right place. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we'll be adding the AWS CloudFront S3 solutions construct to our CDK project. This is a simple construct that provisions this CloudFront distribution that's pointed at an S3 bucket using an origin access identity. It also provisions two or more S3 buckets for storing access logs from the CloudFront distribution and the primary S3 bucket. This construct is particularly useful if you need to serve static website content. You can put your static assets, such as a React application, into the bucket and then have CloudFront serve web requests to it. However, this is just one of the many potential use cases for using this construct. Let's jump over to the development environment now and we'll have a look at how we can start to add it to our CDK project. So looking at our project structure to the left, let's pop open the mysolutionsstack.ts file under the lib folder. We can see that our stack, of course, is currently empty. So let's start by installing the AWS CloudFront S3 construct from NPM. And one thing we'll need to keep in mind here is that our versions for solutions constructs and the CDK will need to match up. So let's take a look at the package.json file to make sure that we have the right version number. In this case, we see the CDK version is 1.72. So let's go over and use that version for installing the construct. Now that our construct is all finished installing, we can add an import statement at the top of our stack file to bring it in and be able to start using it. And now we're ready to finally start using the construct in our project. Let's scroll down a little bit and add a line that creates a new CloudFront to S3 object in our code. For the parameters here, we'll set the scope of the construct to this, and then we'll give it an ID which will be in the form of a string. Finally, we'll specify any properties that we might want inside of a JavaScript object. Now, we'll stub this one out for now and jump over to the docs for this construct to check out some of the properties that we could specify. In the Solutions Constructs section of the AWS Docs site, we provide a full API reference with input properties, output properties, some sample code, as well as some architecture diagrams for each construct. This is a great resource to have handy as you build with Solutions Constructs. And so that's a wrap on adding a Solutions Construct to your CDK project. We covered installing the construct, importing it into your stack file, and initializing it in your code. From here, you could build the project, synthesize it into a CloudFormation template, or deploy it into the cloud. We'll cover all these steps in the next video. But if you're looking for more information on what you saw today, I recommend checking out some of these great resources listed here. Thanks again for tuning in today. Once again, my name is Ryan Hayes, and I invite you to check out some of the other great videos we have on building with AWS Solutions Construct. Thanks again, and see you next time.